Hello everyone, I am Akash. This is the second part of the short video countable set. In this video, we are going to see some examples of countable sets. So before going to the examples, let's recall the definition of countable set from that short video. A set S is said to be countable if it is either finite or countably infinite. So a set S is said to be countable if it is either finite or countably infinite. Okay. So let's start the examples. Set containing 1, set containing 1, 2, set containing 1, 2 and so on and where n belongs to set of natural numbers, set of x belongs to r such that x square plus 1 equals to 0. All these sets are countable sets because all these sets are finite set. What is finite set? A set S is said to be finite if it is either empty or it has finite number of elements. Clearly, all these three sets contains finite number of elements. So they are finite set. This set is empty and hence it is a finite set. This set is empty because the equation x square plus 1 equals to 0 has no solution in real numbers. So this set is empty, hence it is a finite set. So all these sets are finite set and hence by definition they are countable sets. In particular, every finite set is countable set. Our next example is the set of integer z is countable set since it is a countably infinite set. What is definition of countable infinite set? A set S is said to be countably infinite if there exists a mapping F from set of natural numbers to S which is bijective map. So to show that Z is countably infinite set, we have to find a mapping F from set of natural numbers to set of integers which is bijective map. So let's find such a map. Let's define f from set of natural numbers to integers defined by f of n is equals to n by 2 if n is even and equals to minus n plus 1 whole by 2 if n is or we can show that this map is bijective map to see this as one is odd natural number so one maps to minus one plus one by two that is one maps to zero according to the definition of f two is even natural number so 2 maps to 2 by 2 that is 1, 3 is odd natural number so 3 maps to minus 3 plus 1 by 2 that is minus 1, 4 is even natural number so 4 maps to 4 by 2 that is 2, 5 is odd natural number so 5 maps to minus 5 plus 1 by 2 that is minus 2 and so on. So from here we see that distinct element of n maps to distinct element of z. So the given mapping f is injective mapping that is 1 1 mapping because we know by definition of 1 1 mapping a mapping is 1 1 if distinct element of domain maps to distinct element of codomain. So here distinct element of n maps to distinct element of z and so this implies f is 1 1 map. Also as for every element in codomain that is integers every element of z there exists an element in domain so mapping is surjective as well that is onto mapping so as the mapping f is injective and surjective that is one one and onto hence f is bijective map so by definition of countably infinite set as there exists a mapping f from set of natural numbers to set of integers which is bijective hence set of integers is countably infinite set okay and so by definition of countable set z is countable set 
Note, this is not the formal way of proving f is bijective map. Can you prove it formally? Just use the definition of 1, 1 and onto function that is injective and surjective map and prove that f is bijective. That is prove that f is 1, 1 map and prove that f is onto map by using definitions. So this is the task for you. Prove that f is bijective map using definitions. Okay. So our next example, so let's move to our next example. n cross n that is Cartesian product of n with itself which is equal to set of order pair a b such that a comma b belongs to natural numbers is countable set okay for this to show that n cross n is countable, we show that it is a countably infinite set. That is, again, we find mapping f from set of natural numbers to n cross n, which is bijective map. For this, we write the elements of n cross n in the array form 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, and so on. 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, order pair 2, 4, and so on, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, and so on, and so on. Okay. So we have written the elements of n cross n in array form. Now define the mapping like this. Okay, so one maps to one maps to order pair one one, two maps to order pair two one, three maps to order pair one two, four maps to order pair three one. 4 maps to order pair 3, 1, 5 maps to order pair 2, 2, 6 maps to order pair 1, 3, and so on like this. So, this will create the mapping from set of natural numbers to set n cross n. Okay. Let us denote this mapping by f. So, we can see that the mapping f defined like this maps distinct element of n to distinct element of n cross n. So, by definition of 1, 1 function, f is 1 1 function that is injective map because it maps distinct element of domain to distinct element of codomain. So it is an injective map. Also, for every element of codomain that is n cross n, there exists an element in domain. So it is surjective map as well that is onto map. So the mapping f is injective that is 1 1, surjective that is onto, and hence it is bijective map. Thus, we have found a mapping f from set of natural numbers to n cross n which is bijective map. So by definition of countably infinite set, n cross n is countably infinite set. And so by definition of countable set, n cross n is countable set. So these are the few examples of countable set. We will see some more examples of countable set in the next part of this video. If you found this video interesting and useful, then please like and share this video and also subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.